are you set to retire from the FRS or anywhere else at a young age? Maybe it's 55, maybe it's 60 and you're not quite eligible for Social Security or Medicare yet and you're stressed out? Well, this video is specifically for you. So one of the unique things about the Florida retirement system is some people can retire at a pretty young age. Uh, you know, you have, you know, if you have 25 years for high risk or 30 years uh, for standard risk, you know, you might be eligible to retire at 50 or 55. Uh, you might even be exiting drop in your 50s. And for some of you, that's very stressful because what you've been told is, you're not supposed to retire until 65 or 70 and, and that's a long time and I might run out of money. Well, in this video, we're going to go over how we create plans for those younger clientele uh, to make sure that they don't run out of money. Uh, and what most people don't realize is retirement's all about hitting certain milestones. Uh, and so if you hit those milestones and you have it structured out and planned out, then it's pretty easy to make sure that you won't run out of money. So we're going to get into that in this video. Okay, so let's say that you are retiring and you're 58 years old. Uh, and, and your goal is, hey, I want to retire, but I want to recreate my current income. And you're in the FRS. And you're stressed because you can't take Social Security yet. You can't take Medicare. You know, there, there's just a lot of things going on. And you're just not sure whether or not you can do it. So what we like to do with our clients is, uh, is sit down and come up with gap income accounts. And what that means is, okay, well, let's see what you will earn at 65, right? Between, after you take Social Security and after you take Medicare. So let's say you're 58 years old uh, and, and let's say you're receiving your pension and you have four years and you plan on taking Social Security early at 62. Some of you want to wait, you know, what that's a different conversation, a different video, which actually I've done videos on it. I'll go ahead and link one up here. But let's say that's the situation you plan on taking Social Security at 62. Well, what we would do is we would say, okay, well, how much is your Social Security going to be at 62? $1,500. Okay. Well, we'll take $1,500 out of your investments from the time per month, from the time that you're 58 to the time that you're 62. Well, what about insurance? Insurance is really expensive. Well, how much is insurance? Well, I get a $225 health insurance subsidy. It's $7.50 per year of service. You can do your own math. But let's say it's it's capped out to $225. Let's say you have that. Um, and let's say after everything's said and done, your health insurance is a very cheap and good plan. And it's $800 a month, which some of you, it's a lot more than that. But let's say it's $800 a month. And you have to pay that until you're eligible for Medicare at $60. Five. Well, now we're going to take out $800 in addition to the $1,500 per month until age 65. Now, some of you are like, Don, that's a lot of money. You know, we're going to be blown through a lot of money. And you're right. It, it can add up to a decent amount of money. But the point is, is it's not forever. Okay. So if you really want to retire at a younger age or you're being forced to retire at a younger age because you went to drop and now you have to, there are ways to gap it. And yes, you will probably have to spend down some of your money, but you're only spending it down to a certain point. And then once you get to that certain point, then all the rest of your money is discretionary because you have enough income. So let's look at what the actual numbers look like, look like in this scenario. Now, remember, this is just a hypothetical scenario. Yours might be a little different, okay? Uh, so if we take the, if we gap, money the, the amount of money just until social security that that's fifteen hundred dollars a month times 48 months uh so that would be seventy two thousand dollars that we need to take out of the investments to get to social security then the gap income for medicare would be the seven hundred dollars a month uh and that would be for 82 months so that would come out to just under sixty thousand dollars so we'll call it sixty thousand dollars so all in all, we have to pull out $132,000 out of the accounts to help gap the income. Now, I'm not pretending like that's not a lot of money. That is a lot of money. But let's say you have $200,000 in drop and you have $150,000 in, uh, in deferred comp and maybe you have some unused sick leave. And let's say total you have $400,000. 
Well, out of your 400,000, we would use $132,000 to get you to those points. And then after that point, then the rest of your money is discretionary, assuming that that's enough to recreate your current income, which typically what we see pension plus social security plus Medicare, it's typically right about what you're making now, sometimes even a little bit higher. Not always, but typically it is. Now, if you do need more income on top of that, then you have to go ahead and look at something else, maybe an income annuity or a dividend paying fund that will pay you something for the rest of your life. But if you, for most of you, that amount will be a good amount to do. Now you say, okay, well, I have to spend down $132,000 of my hard earned money. Yes, but that leaves you with about $270,000 and that $270,000 Let's say it's earning, you know, 5% interest. So 270,000 and let's say we go to right now, 5% is pretty conservative. You're looking at about $13,000 a year of interest. Okay. And if you can continue earning that, well, then after 10 years, you would have made up the amount of money that you took out of your account and you'd be back to even. Now, for some of you, you really don't want to do this. And I understand then it's, you know, don't retire early or go get another part-time job to help make up the difference. But though, for those of you who are like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm done. I want to retire. I want to relax. I want to enjoy my life. Uh, you know, for, for those of you, this is how we would go about doing it. So I give you this information. If you want to do it yourself and you feel confident in doing it yourself, great. Or if you want to use us, this is what we do for our clients. So if you call us and you say, Don, I'm concerned. I, you know, I, I really want to sit down and come up with a plan because I'm worried about my income. And what we can do is we can say, okay, well, how much do we need? How much are you currently making? Is that enough? And we can let you know. And some people, we guess what? We have to say, you know, you need to go work a little bit more. I'm sorry. The numbers just don't work out. But for the vast majority of people that we talk to in the upper ass, especially if you have full pension, social security, and you're retiring from, from drop, we can usually make the numbers work. So if you're thinking about retiring early or you're first forced to retire early and you're stressed out about it, number one, I hope this video helped. Uh, I hope it eased your mind a little bit, but you do have to do a little bit of planning. So if you wanna do that on your own or you have someone that you trust that, that will do it for you, great. If not, we're here, you can book a complimentary appointment. I'm gonna go ahead and link that down below. If you have anyone else that's stressed about retiring or retiring early from the FRS, please send them this video. That's a, that's a huge compliment. And always, if you could subscribe, it helps recommend the videos to people like you who are looking for help. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Talk to you soon.